Good afternoon. We are looking for the purple envelopes of Ms. Rosalia Completano and Ms. Lea Bianca Terrazola. If you have seen the purple envelopes, please surrender them at the tech booth located at the back of the function hall. Again, we are looking for the purple envelopes of Ms. Rosalia Completano and Ms. Lea Bianca Terrazola. If you have seen their purple envelopes, please surrender them at the tech booth located at the back of the function hall. For Mr. Anton Gabriel Leron, your driver's license is at the tech booth at the back of the function hall. Again, Mr. Anton Gabriel Leron, your driver's license is at the tech booth located at the back of the function hall. Thank you. Magandang hapon. Kung sino man po ang nakakita ng purple envelope ni Ms. Rosalia Completano at ni Ms. Lea Bianca Terrazola, pakisurrender lang po dito sa tech booth sa likod ng function hall. Para po sa nakakita, sa purple envelope ni Ms. Rosalia Completano at Ms. Lea Bianca Terrazola, pakisurrender po dito sa tech booth sa likod ng function hall. Maraming salamat po.
national headquarters is of course San Beda College, Alabang. So our sincerest thanks to the happiest, most generous law school in the universe. Good afternoon. All successful bar examinees are requested to please settle down. Please fill up all the vacant seats first. No reservation of seats. As we begin the celebration, please be reminded that everyone's safety is of utmost priority. As a health and safety measure, all attendees are highly encouraged to wear face masks. All successful bar examinees are also reminded to put their mobile phones on silent mode or airplane mode and refrain from using the same during the entirety of the ceremonies. Restrooms are located at the right side of the stage behind the LED walls. For lost and found items, please surrender them at the tech booth located at the back of the function hall. 
We would also like to remind the successful bar examinees to please take care of your purple envelopes. The same will be surrendered after the event. Once the ceremonies are done, please remain seated and pay attention to important announcements. Our session will commence shortly. Thank you.
Good afternoon, esteemed guests and successful bar examinees. As we begin the celebration, please be reminded that everyone's safety is of utmost priority. As a health and safety measure, all attendees are highly encouraged to wear face masks. All successful bar examinees are also reminded to put their mobile phones on silent mode or airplane mode and refrain from using them during the entirety of the ceremonies. Restrooms are located at the right side of the stage behind the LED walls. For lost and found items, please surrender them at the tech booth located at the back of the function hall. Once the ceremonies are done, please remain seated and pay attention to the important announcements. Our session will begin in 15 minutes. May I please call the bailiff, Mr. Emiliano Alan Coscoluela, to your designated area. Thank you. May we request all successful bar examinees to please return to their respective seats. Our session will begin in 15 minutes. Thank you.
Good afternoon. May we request the 2023 bar examiners to please take your seats. As we begin the celebration, please be reminded that everyone's safety is of utmost priority. As a health and safety measure, all attendees are highly encouraged to wear face masks. All successful bar examinees are also reminded to put their mobile phones on silent mode or airplane mode and refrain from using them during the entirety of the ceremonies. Restrooms are located at the right side of the stage behind the LED walls. For lost and found items, please surrender them at the tech booth located at the back of the function hall. Once the ceremonies are done, please remain seated and pay attention to the important announcements. Our session will begin in 10 minutes. Thank you. Good afternoon, esteemed guests and successful bar examinees. As we begin the celebration, please be reminded that everyone's safety is of utmost priority. As a health and safety measure, all attendees are highly encouraged to wear face masks. Please refrain from using the restroom once the ceremonies commence. All successful bar examinees are also reminded 
to put their mobile phones on silent mode or airplane mode and refrain from using the same during the entirety of the ceremonies. Once the ceremonies are done, please remain seated and pay attention to the important announcements. Our session will begin in five minutes. Thank you. May we request all successful bar examinees to please return to their respective seats. Again, all successful bar examinees, please return to your respective seats. Thank you. Mr. Anton Gabriel Leron, your driver's license is at the tech booth located at the back of the function hall. Ms. Kathleen Marcelo, your PRC ID is also at the tech booth located at the back of the function hall. Thank you. Good afternoon, esteemed guests and successful bar examinees. May we request everyone to please be seated. The Clerk of Court on Bank of the Supreme Court of the Philippines, Attorney Marife M. Lumibao Cuevas, will now officially open the oath-taking and roll-signing ceremonies for the 2023 bar examinations.
Good afternoon, successful bar examinees and distinguished guests. May I remind everyone that the oath-taking and role-signing ceremonies for the 2023 successful bar examinees is an official court proceeding. Everyone is expected to observe and maintain proper decorum and conduct yourselves with utmost courtesy and respect due to the Supreme Court and the solemnity of the ceremonies. No successful bar examinee should exhibit any improper, unwarranted, offensive, or untoward behavior affecting or disrupting the proceedings. All mobile phones should be turned off or put on silent or airplane mode. Those who are caught using their mobile phones or who have failed to put their mobile phones on silent mode will be escorted out of the venue and will not be allowed to take their oath. Thank you.
we shall now begin the oath-taking and roll-signing ceremonies. The Honorable Maria Filomena Singh. The Honorable Jose Maidas Marquez. The Honorable Japar Dima Ampao. The Honorable Josep Lopez. The Honorable Ricardo Rosario. The Honorable Samuel Gairlan. The Honorable Mario Lopez. The Honorable Rodil Salameda. The Honorable Henry John Paul Inting. The Honorable Ami Lazaro Javier. The Honorable Ramon Paul Hernando. The Honorable Alfredo Benjamin Kagiwa. The Honorable Senior Associate Justice Marvic Mario Victor Leonet. The Honorable, the Chief Justice of the Republic of the Philippines, Alexander Gesmundo. Hear ye, hear ye, all persons having business before the Honorable Supreme Court of the Philippines shall give their attention.
for the court is now in session. Please remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and the Supreme Court Hymn to be led by the Supreme Court Choir. Please remain standing for the invocation to be led by the Honorable Associate Justice Ami C. Lazaro Javier.
Let's bow our heads and feel the presence of Almighty God. Almighty God, the source of all blessings, we are filled with gratitude as we remember how your loving presence sustained us throughout the 2023 bar examinations. Without you, we could not have found the fortitude, the courage, and the peace to breathe through the challenges we faced. Thank you for the light of guidance and powerful pillars of support you granted through Chief Justice Alexander G. Jesmundo, Senior Associate Justice Marvic, Mario Victor F. Learman, and the Associate Justices, officials and employees of the court, as well as the dedicated volunteers from various offices of the judiciary. The success of the 2023 bar examinations could not have been achieved without everyone's invaluable assistance, inasmuch as it was bestowed by your grace. We are so grateful for the wisdom dedication, and perseverance. You gifted the bar chairperson, Justice Ramon Hernando, his entire office, as well as the different offices of the Supreme Court as they led the 2023 bar examinations to its smashing success. And for the gift of patience and knowledge you bestowed upon this year's examiners, as they corrected each answer earnestly given by the bar takers. As the 3,812 successful examinees cross the threshold from student to lawyer today, grant them your blessing and guidance. As they swear the lawyer's oath, may the gravity of each word constantly weigh in their hearts Remind them of the life choice that they will make today, not only to be dedicated servants of justice, but more important, to be ethical at all times. As they sign the role of attorneys, fill their hearts with gratitude and humility. For the practice of law, while open only to a privileged few, is a public service of the highest order. As they begin their membership in the bar, gift them with integrity, fidelity, and dedication. May they always remain faithful to the rule of law and subservient to the interests of truth and justice. Bless the families and loved ones of these new lawyers. May they continue to be their source of inspiration so that they will have the strength and courage to discharge their duties as lawyers to the fullest of their abilities. Most of all, Almighty God, bless the 3,812 new lawyers today with the inspiration to be your genuine instruments of justice, fairness, inclusivity, and equality in society for the sake of the Filipino people. Personally, and on behalf of my fellow Tomasians, we lift our utmost gratitude and jubilation to your highest name for the Royal and Pontifical University of Santo Tomas and for making us number one. And for our top one, Ephraim B., Attorney Ephraim B., a few moments from now. Lastly, May you ignite undying hope in the hearts of the examinees who did not make it this year. Fill them with the courage to try again, the determination to do even better, and the strength to persevere so that they may, in your perfect time, also fulfill their goal to be lawyers. All the glory we offer back to you, Almighty God. Amen. Please be seated. The Clerk of Court will now call the case before us.
Good afternoon, Your Honors. Called for the, today's special and bank session is bar matter number 3978, the oath taking and roll signing ceremonies for the 2023 bar examinations. To deliver his address to the incoming lawyers, let us welcome the 2024 bar chairperson, the Honorable Associate Justice Mario V. Lopez. Chief Justice Alexander Hesmundo, Senior Associate Justice Marvic Mario Victor Leonem, Associate Justice Benjamin Kagiwa, Bar 2023 Chairperson, Associate Justice Ramon Paul Hernando, Associate Justice Ami C. Lazaro Javier, Associate Justice Henry J. Paul B. Inting, Associate Justice Rodil V. Salameda, Associate Justice Samuel G. Gerlang, Associate Justice Ricardo R. Rosario, Associate Justice Joseph E. Lopez, Associate Justice Japar B. Dimampau, Associate Justice Jose Maidas P. Marquez, Associate Justice Antonio Tico, who is not present, Associate Justice Filomena, Filomena D. Singh, esteemed examiners, deans of different law schools, our newly minted panieros and panieras, Beloved guests, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good afternoon. If there is any magical word that will encapsulate the ecstasy of our celebration today, it is the word congratulations. So, to heighten the festivity today, I am ordering the new lawyers to give a big round of applause every time I mention congratulations. <laughs> Paneros and paneras. Congratulations. The doubting question whether you will pass the bar examination is already moot and academic. Starting tomorrow, you can already practice your legal profession and do what Ever you want. <laughs> but of course, there is a caveat that you will be subjected to a disbarment proceedings <laughs> in case you commit a grave misconduct. Congratulations, <laughs> Justice Hernando and your bar team. Hernan do it, as well as your industrious examiners who are able to accomplish the correction within a span of two months. But the most deserving and proudest people to be congratulated are your parents, loved ones, and significant others. 
I am not satisfied with just a round of applause to pay your gratitude to this very important people. So may I request the new lawyers to stand up. Put your palm on your left chest near your heart and bow to them as a sign of gratitude and respect for their unselfish support throughout your preparations to become a lawyer. I know in your deepest heart you want to tell them Tatay, Nanay, Salamat po. Kami ngayon ay alagad ng katarungan. Ipagtatanggol ko kayo ang ating pamilya, kamag-anakan at ang buong sambayanan. Wala nang maaapi at mananaig ang katarungan at hustisya para sa lahat. Congratulations. But most of all, we thank the Lord Almighty for His grace that sustained and guided each one of you. Congratulations. You may now sit down. In this occasion, it is up to ask what is lawyering? The answer is plain and simple. Lawyering is doing justice. That is all. You will get a 100% if that is the question in the bar exam. <laughs> Being in the noblest profession, you become a vanguard, a protector, and a steward of justice. This is the fundamental reason the new lawyer's oath embedded the concept of justice as your sacred and inviolable commitment. Doing justice is your overriding professional duty, and there could be no valid excuse for lapses in its observance. Paneros and paneras, as you practice your profession, there are three major challenges that I want to imprint in your person. You know this. First of all, technology. Technology, technology, technology. As you will note, the evolution of artificial intelligence such as chat GPT-4, Azure, Harvey, and the latest Gemini have already penetrated almost every crevice of our daily lives, including the legal profession. Now, you face the novel challenge of obsolescence and antiquated practice of law if you cannot keep, we keep pace with the fast landscape of technology. But I am confident that you can keep up with the cascade because most of you belong to Generation Z and some are also millennials and therefore you are technology savvy. While there is a threat of antiquity, the good news is the emerging technology will not threaten nor usher the demise of the law profession because our profession is the cornerstone of humanity. Machines are but the creator of human beings and cannot overcome their creators. 
as the saying goes, the spring cannot rise higher than its source. There is no doubt there is much uncertainty in the interpretation and construction of the law. There is where adjudication comes in where AI cannot compete. Unlike judges and justices, AI cannot decide cases through the lens of judicial temperament and compassion. It cannot exercise judgment or temper justice with equity. As early as 1987, in the case of Alonso versus Iak, which I cited in one of my ponentia, Rama versus Nogra, the Supreme Court already proclaimed, and I quote, that courts are not automatons. We do not and must not unfeelingly apply the law as it is worded, yielding like robots to the literal command without regards to its cause and consequences. In other words, a machine would interpret the law, duralex said lex, without regard to compassion and equity consideration. Last September, during the bar exam, a nasty rumor circulated that your exam will be corrected by artificial intelligence. Of course, that is totally false and a distortion because if indeed the bar exam was corrected by a machine, the result would have been disastrous. Especially in criminal law, it would have been a murderous bar exam. Why? Because artificial intelligence systems are inflexible due to limitations in understanding context and nuances of the law. Algorithm is not sophisticated enough to critic descriptive answers. More importantly, Artificial intelligence has no reason and compassion in the corrections of your answers. Unlike the team of Justice Hernando, they have carefully crafted the bar questions with reasons and corrected your answers with compassion. Hence, the modest Hence, the modest 36.77% passing percentage. I wish and hope Barney J. Law 2024 will approximate this kind of compassion and reasonability. I will also pray that I will receive that kind of big applause when I will enter this room <laughs> in next year. The second challenge is economic materialism. This sounds obsolete and old. You are familiar with the oft-repeated cliché that law profession is not a business, but a noble profession. Lawyering is not a capital to be infused for the purpose of profit.
but I appeal to your sense of altruism, lest your greed for money will deprive the people of justice. Let me emphasize that a costly and expensive litigation is in itself injustice. It divests the inherent right of the people from access to justice, especially the underprivileged and marginalized ones who should benefit more in terms of law. And lastly, the term challenge that I want to stress is moral responsibility. The practice of law is not merely dependent on your legal expertise. It is above all an exercise of your conscience and moral values. With the rapid advancement of technology and economic materialism, the question that hounds our novel profession will be more ethical and moral rather than legal. I hope in your practice you do not become complicit in supporting, justifying, and condoning legal techniques that are at least unethical and worse, illegal. This is the turning point why the Code of Professional Responsibility and Accountability, or CIPRA in short, adopts a values-based framework to ensure that the canons of independence, propriety, fidelity, competence, diligence, equality, and accountability are not sheer illusions of the people. As aptly put by the Chief Justice, the CIPRA captures the virtues that all in the legal profession must live up to. All lawyers must commit and strive to uphold the core values of our profession so that we can continue to maintain the rule of law and administer justice for all. And by doing so, we remain true with our calling. Incidentally, the Chief Justice had implemented the Strategic Plan for Judicial Innovation, or SPGI in short, which was capsulized to be the blueprint of action for the court to achieve efficiency, innovation, and access. While it was programmed for five years from 2022 to 2027, it is intended to continue beyond to be sure you new lawyers will indispensably be part of this mission and vision. And as new lawyers, you are expected that your youthfulness, idealism, moral responsibility, and technological passion will open a fresh outlook to our law profession and elevate the admi administration of our justice system. Again, panieros and panieras, let me reiterate and resonate the magical word Congratulations. <laughs> but there is another magical greeting that is befitting for everyone after we end these proceedings. Merry Christmas. Thank you for the inspirational message, Justice Lopez. As a memento of this momentous occasion, the Supreme Court proudly presents a video tribute to the new lawyers.
for all the volunteering bar personnel in the backstage that made the 2023 bar examinations happen. On behalf of the Office of the 2023 Bar Chair, I thank all of you for believing in us. We could have never done this without you. Our hearts are full. Please know that the honor has been entirely ours to have worked with each one of you. And so, from Hernan Duit, we transition to Hernando Did It Well. Congratulations to everyone. Please consider it as a challenge to do more, to exert more, and really to dream more because it's not the end of the road. There are things we cannot change, but I would like you to believe that the efforts that you have expended to pass the bar are absolute. Dreams shall come true at their own time, perhaps, and for most of you, that time is now. Your honors, ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome the 2023 Bar Chairperson, the Honorable Associate Justice Ramon Paul L. Hernando. Thank you. Please be seated. To Chief Justice Alexander G. Esmundo, 
Senior Associate Justice Marvic Mario Victor Leonen, Associate Justice Alfredo Benjamin Cagiwa, Associate Justice Amy Lazaro Javier, Associate Justice Henry Jean Paul Inting, Associate Justice Rudil Zalameda, Associate Justice Mario V. Lopez, Associate Justice Samuel Gerlan, Associate Justice Ricardo Rosario, Associate Justice Joseph Lopez, Associate Justice Japar de Mampao, Associate Justice Jose Maidas Marquez, Associate Justice Antonio Co. Jr., Associate Justice Maria Filomena E. Singh. Representatives from the Legal Education Board, led by its chair, Attorney Melanie Trinidad. Representatives from the Philippine Association of Law School Deans, led by Dean Jean Pesquid. Our special guests, both from the pastors and officials from the government. To our 3,812 successful pastors of the 2023 bar examinations and to your honored guests today. My esteemed members, of course, of the 2023 Committee of Bar Examiners. Good afternoon. And so, just like that, in the blink of an eye, you are all here to take your oaths. Fortuna, if you remember my very first bar bulletin, favored your earnest efforts. Bantugen ferried you through the dark waters. Tala shone upon you the brightest guiding light. You reap the bounties blessed by Tagani. The YY led you to your most awaited sunrise. And now, Bathala approvingly deemed you as one of the worthy and deserving. My dear 2023 Erna Duit Bar Passers, you have made it and you have done it very well. Welcome to the scintillating side of the bar. This year's oath-taking ceremony is actually the seventh that I am attending, in which I have had a personal connection. The first was in 1991, when I took my oath just like you now. That was 32 years ago. The second in 1995, when our youngest sister, Attorney Ann, took hers. In 2006, the third one was when my spouse, Judge Cherry Chiara, took her oath as a member of the bar. The next three oath-taking events that I attended were by reason of my being a bar examiner. And that was in 2009, 2011, and 2016. And my seven is, of course, this year's oath-taking ceremony. I have to tell you that of those seven oath-taking ceremonies, including today's, 
It is the very first event that is and will always be the most significant and momentous for it made me realize my entrance into the legal profession beside my own father who had been a lawyer himself. And I would like to think that the only oath-taking event that could possibly surpass my first oath-taking event in terms of significance would be when our daughter Bea would take her off as a lawyer, hopefully in 2037 or 2038. And so now that you are here, my dear bar passers, you have brought here with you your choicest companions, your greatest supporters. And so I invite all of you to give the loudest cheers to your mother, your father, your siblings, your children, your significant other, or your current companions here who are otherwise your life's top ones. But if you alone have brought yourself all the way through law school up to this point, I salute you, attorney, and I am very proud of you. You deserve your own special round of applause from everyone here present. It was not too long ago that our office, Bar Team Hernando or BTH, was just crafting the blueprint for the 2023 Bar examinations. Lots of interesting ideas were pulled, but we settled on a clear and quite a daunting objective to start and end the 2023 bar year within the same year. We chose to be undaunted as we knew that we were in for a race of a time. We undertook the essentials very well in advance. In July 2022, we had the following. The announcement of the coverage of the 2023 bar. The release of the bar syllabi in time for your fourth year of review classes. The four examiner per subject modality. The condensed three-day examination schedule in September, which we needed to disseminate earlier than customary for the convenience of you, our baristas. The consultations with the Association of Law Schools of the Philippines and the law school deans as to crucial matters concerning their graduates, their graduates, especially the application of the clinical legal education program requirement implemented just this 2023. We also had to come up and did create quite satisfactorily, the barista. And of course, we prepared really for the bar results, the oath-taking, and the role signing in December 2023. We promised you, our bar takers, four early results to be released. And we did so last December 5. A mere two months and 11 days after the last day of the bar on September 24. This early release coincides with the rationale of the court's approval thereof. 
early opportunity for you, our newbie lawyers, to contribute to society and to care for your respective families. We intended a simultaneous oath-taking, signing of roles, and the fact that you, the bar passers, will be going home today with your certificates of admission to the bar. Another first in terms of innovation. That means that if there are still courts open at 4.15, you may just be able to file your very first pleading in court this afternoon. All these have been in keeping with the Supreme Court's strategic plan for judicial innovations 2022-2027 or SPJI, a brainchild of Chief Justice Alexander G. Desmundo. As new lawyers, you need to be acquainted with the SPJI, which is an ongoing five-year project of the court aimed to modernize the judiciary in terms of administration, court rules and jurisprudential rulings, practical access to justice, efficiency of public service, and technological adaptation. We intend your court to see and realize all that we envisioned for the SBJI by 2027. Our office has been consistently blessed with the full support and solid cooperation of the court because here we are all here now. For those of you who graduated from law school in the middle part of this year, we were able to keep our promise to have you all admitted to the bar in the same year that you took your bar examinations. Now please indulge me with a bit more of your time as I hope to impart sim simple pieces of advice to you, our newly minted lawyers. This new world before you is full of promise. But know that it is not an ideal one. Lawyering will take a lot from you. Your time, your energies, and sometimes even the strength of your own principles. The winds may blow against your sails, and the tides might take you to directions entirely opposite your path. Things and plans may not always go how you originally envisioned them to be. Disasters may strike at the most crucial, inconvenient times, and it is during at these times that you think the universe is already telling you to give up. At these times, do not believe the universe. Fortitude is simply about not giving up. And so remember, your very first bar exam file password. Do you remember it? <laughs> Out of endurance is fortitude. <laughs> it flows from the spirit of Saint Teresa of Avila. Be careful not to confuse fortitude with obstinate persistence. You must know when you have to acknowledge that you are wrong and when you need to stop and reassess where you stand. 
I would like to specifically address those of you who never gave up, notwithstanding your previous setbacks in the bar, who know that unpleasant feeling all too well. Now that you are here about to take your oaths as lawyers, I highly commend you for having the strength of body, heart, and mind to fight on up to this point. Please know that your debacles were only temporary and those setbacks are now in the memorable past in which shall never define you as an attorney. To be more inclusive about the matter, your school, your grades in law school, the numbers of times you may have failed to pass the bar, your previous heartaches, your family circumstances, your personal crisis, your financial issues, even your initial academic achievements, all such factors similar to the foregoing that may have affected the timing of your success will never shape you as an attorney, but rather, and most importantly, this will serve you in good stead or stead for strengthening your character. What will truly validate you is how you will hold yourself out as a lawyer from the moment that you sign the role of attorneys. Your demeanor before the courts and the public, the propriety of your actions, the stability of your private lives, and the fortitude of your convictions in the days weeks, months, years, and decades to come. I warn you that you are to enter the world of deadlines. The paperwork will be endless and expect that work will follow you home inasmuch as you must not squander time, then you have to be patient. As St. Augustine of Hippo has said, which we took inspiration of another of your bar exam file passwords, patience is the companion of wisdom. Take the time to make informed and rational choices always, so as not to compromise or overlook the most fleeting opportunities. Reread your drafts, revisit your law, and please do proofread your citations for our sake. <laughs> Ask a mentor's opinion. Seek a second opinion or a third one when you can, because a rush, inefficient decision is a child of impatience. Also, whether as your client, your witness, your boss, your colleague, your opposing counsel, your employee, or a person with whom you will need to transact with, you will meet people of various characters. You study how to converse politely, professionally, and productively. The art of conversation rests in your ability to secure the comfort and confidence of the person you are talking with. Talk with the intention to listen. Listen to what they have to say, regardless of your personal opinion of them or their behavior towards you. Also, seek evidence and reason before you render your conclusions and judgment. St. Thomas Aquinas has said, and again, this has been part of your bar exam journey, you must remember this password, by believing, you gain knowledge. It is not by mere belief that we gain knowledge. We begin knowing by believing until we cement that belief with reason. 
it is with reason may be coupled with first-hand experience that we gain knowledge and from knowledge we can glimpse the truth do not stray from the truth and please do protect the truth and as a lawyer keep watch over your tongue from saint faustina a lawyer is basically a professional wielder of words. Be aware that the word of a lawyer can sway people's views and public opinion. And know that you are already an influencer in your own professional capacity. However you choose to use them, your words now have the power to deprive or grant someone a right, imprison or acquit a criminal, and inflame or extinguish a flickering hope. Thus, please use your words with extreme caution in whichever medium you may speak. You are now bound under the provisions of the Code of Professional Responsibility and Accountability. Aside from the words of your oath, keep the commandments of the SIPRA at heart. You are to act with independence, with propriety, with fidelity, with competence, with diligence, with equality, and finally, with accountability at the very least may your words and actions as a lawyers be guided by the rules of basic decency professional integrity and universal inclusivity likewise remember to keep your feet on the ground during your last day of the bar on September 24, in your morning subject before you could start with answering the questions, you were given the password of St. Benedict. We rise when our heart is humble. Lawyers are presumed to be intelligent. Indeed, lawyers are intelligent. But once you fall, into the quagmire of overconfidence and believe that you are better than everyone else, you will no longer seek to improve yourselves. There will always be something you have yet to know and it is neither wrong nor shameful to admit that you do not owe or know anything. So never stop learning. The law is ever evolving. And we must do our best not to get left behind. You will eventually receive awards, honorary recognitions, and routinary gifts from your retainer companies and clients. But the most unforgettable rewards usually take the form of relieved smiles, tight hugs of appreciation, tears of gratitude, and even just a plastic full of fruits brought to you by an overjoyed, indigent litigant. Seek to receive such priceless rewards and be inspired by the people who will give them to you. Let the quality of your work and the good word of others boast on your behalf. Always say thank you. Give credit where credit is due. And this one is important. It is a sign of respect to ask for people's names and always remember them. I would like you as lawyers to be foremost advocates of peace. I have already hinted at this. If you remember your remedial law 
an ethics exam last week. From St. Francis of Assisi, make me an instrument of peace. My dear 2023 bar passers, lawsuits are indeed the lifeblood of a practicing lawyer. However, there are cases that need not the intervention of the courts, but the pacifying mediation of a lawyer. And so, you must put out little legal fines, discourage the judicial settlement of minor couples the best that you can, Help the clan our dockets. The courts are overburdened as they are right now. Just as lawyers are instruments of peace, lawyers must be promoters of equity. Your APTY is a professional title. It is not a social rank. Being a lawyer does not make you more important than non-lawyers. It is never a license to lord over the other professions. Your title is a mandate to serve and not be served. And so always follow the law. The law should never be the one to adjust to you. The relaxation of rules is always just an exception, not the general rule. Unless the circumstance is exceptional, do not use leniency to escape compliance with the law. Be a visible example of a follower of the law. And so do not skip lines. Do not run that red light. Be not apathetic. Look up from your phones and see the prevailing realities around you. Love your profession. It is yours to keep, but under certain conditions. Your title does not and will not belong only to you. You are now beholden to your clients, to the courts, to your paneros and paneras, and most especially to the Philippine flag and our fundamental law. Consider your title as a continuing challenge for you to be a champion of social justice, unshackled truth, altruistic freedoms, unthreatened peace, equality to all, and in equity to none. And if ever you would need to leave our behalf, beloved Philippines, please do come back. Your country needs you now more than ever. Now, before I formally enter my request before the court and bank for you to be admitted to the practice of law, I believe that as in all events like this, proper acknowledgments are in order. We begin with your AIs. As you can see, And you can actually touch them no? <laughs> to see to it if it's really a person that's there. They're in the flesh. For our political law and public international law committee of members of the 2023 bar examiners, may I please ask the four set of examiners to stand up and recognize.
Professor Juanito G. Arcilla, my professor in law school of San Beda University College of Law, a cum laude graduate and valedictorian of his batch. His senior partner in Brillantes, Arcilia Martinez, Diocno and De La Cruz Law Office, and he previously served as Bar Examiner in Political Law and Public International Law way back in 2008. Thank you, Professor Sir Nitoy Arcilia. We have Dean Sedfrey M. Candelaria of the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law. He has a diploma in Juridical Science, San Beda Graduate School of Law, has a Master of Laws degree in Public International Law, from the University of British Columbia, Chief of Office for the Research, Publications and Linkages of the Philippine Judicial Academy or Philja, and previously a bar examiner twice, in fact, in 2010 and 2019 in political law and public international law. Thank you, Dean Said. My senior in law school, Professor Ranulfo G. Mendoza, <laughs> San Beda University College of Law, cum laude graduate and valedictorian of his batch. He obtained third place in the 1989 bar examinations. He is former regional General Counsel for ASEAN and General Counsel for Philippines of Procter and Gamble, and Professor of San Beda College Alabang School of Law, SBU College of Law, and Arellano University School of Law. Thank you so much, Professor Rani. Our last examiner, his name rings a bell. Professor Antonio Eduardo S. Natura, Jr. Andy had been my student in law school, by the way. San Beda University College of Law, valedictorian of his batch, and now partner at ACRA Law, and also professor at San Beda University College of Law. Thank you so much, Professor Andy. For the second subject in the first day, commercial and taxation laws. May I request our dear examiners to stand up? You know this, this uh, commercial law group, taxation law group, their credentials are so impressive, as you will see later. He's not here, but he had been a colleague of mine in the College of Law of San Beda, Professor Timoteo Biakino. From San Beda University College of Law, he was valedictorian of his batch, and he obtained eighth place in the 1988 bar examinations. He is a well-known pre-bar review, an MCLE lecturer, and a partner at Tagle, Chua Cruz, and Aquino Law Firm. Our next examiner who did the checking on taxation laws is Professor Ignatius Michael D. Ingles of the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law. He was salutatorian and most distinguished graduate under the St. Thomas More Awards of the Ateneo. He was 
first placer in the 2012 bar examinations. He holds a Master's of Law degree from Georgetown University Law Center and is partner of the law firm of Ingles, Laurel, and Calderon and full-time professor at the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law. Thank you so much, Miki. I have to tell you that Miki did some of his checking in Seoul, Korea. <laughs> Everyone knows who CLV is in the legal academia. Dean Cesar L. Villanueva. Ateneo de Manila University School of Law grad, cum laude, and valedictorian, and he was second in the 1981 bar examinations. <laughs> Dean CLV holds a Master of Laws degree from Harvard Law School, a diplomate of Jewish Science from the San Beda Graduate School of Law, and he was previously a bar examiner in commercial law in 2018 and in the best bar ever of Justice Marvick Leone, 2020-2021 bar. <laughs> Dean Cesar, thank you so much for accepting my invitation to be on board my committee. Our fourth examiner is DOTR and the Secretary Rainier Paul R. Yebra. <laughs> Yusek Rainier graduated valedictorian of his batch from the San Beda University College of Law, and he was number one in the 2009 bar examinations. <laughs> he has an LLM from Columbia University in New York, and was a Fulbright Scholar and a Mark Appeal Fellow. He is currently Chief of Staff to the Secretary of the Department of Trade or Transportation, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I also have to acknowledge the fact, and you have to acknowledge him for that feat. Yusek Rainier was the very first one to finish checking. He did so in 36 days. <laughs> he is definitely not an AI. <laughs> Thank you so much, my bar examiners for commercial and taxation laws. For civil law, May I request my bar examiners in civil law to stand up? I think I know why your applause is warmer for the civil law examiners. They were a most generous bunch. Seventy-one percent passed in civil law. I won't tell you which subject had the lowest. Uh, <laughs> but <okay. laughs> Dean Marian Elizabeth Beltran Angeles. a graduate of the University of the Philippines College of Law, a professor in the UP College of Law, in civil law. Yes, she has a Master of Science in Finance from UP Diliman and was former Assistant Dean of the Angeles University Foundation School of Law 
in Angeles City and is legal counsel of the Angeles University Foundation School of Law in that city. Dean Marian, thank you so much. Our next examiner was a fourth placer in the 2002 bar examinations. Dean Mariangina Teresa V. Chan Gonzaga, herself a previous examiner in civil law way back in 2018. Dean Maita graduated from the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law as valedictorian and St. Thomas More Award or awardee for the most distinguished graduate. She has a Magister Juris from Oxford University and is currently Associate Dean for Academic Affairs of the Ateneo de Manila School of Law. Thank you, Dean Maita. The next examiner had been a classmate of mine in San Beda. But it's not by reason thereof that I got her as an examiner. It is because of her expertise in civil law that I engaged her as examiner in the 2023 bar examinations. Assistant Solicitor General Marisa B. De La Cruz Galandines. A professor at San Beda University College of Law and a senior assistant solicitor general, a stalwart, really, in the OSG. Thank you so much, my dear classmate, Marisa. Dean Joan Largo is back for the bar. As an examiner, Dean Joan graduated cum laude and valedictorian of her batch in the University of San Carlos School of Law and Governance and is presently partner at Romulo Mabanta Benaventura Sayoc in the Los Angeles Law Office. She previously served as bar examiner in remedial law in the 2020 2021 bar examinations. Dean Joan, marami salamat po. In labor law, Do you remember the questions in labor law? <laughs> Professor Blesilda B. Abad Gamo of the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law. Professor Blessy is managing partner at Abad, Lor, and Perez the law firm of her father, the former Justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Roberto Abad. Professor Blessy used to teach at the Ateneo de Manila School of Law and is now a staffer of Senator Rafi Tulfo. Wag nyo siyang isumbong kay Tulfo. <laughs> A colleague of mine in SBU College of Law faculty is the next, Professor Imelda Avadilla Brown. Professor Ime was valedictorian of her batch and was eighth in the 1992 bar examination. 
She is president of the Truck Manufacturers Association, vice president of the Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers of the Philippines, and the first vice president of the corporate division of Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation. Thank you, Professor Ime. Another fast checker is Professor Erdelin Go of the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law. She graduated from her batch as valedictorian with a gold medal for academic excellence. She previously, she previously served as the Deputy Chief Presidential Legal Counsel in the office of then President Benigno S. Aquino III and his partner at Go and Umali. Thank you so much, Erdelin. For the last examiner in labor law, I consider her, her as a co-justice in the Supreme Court because she is no less than my chief of staff, my judicial staff head. Attorney Maria Teresa Antonia F. Fabregas. Yes. <laughs> Tess has to be one of the most experienced chiefs of staff in the Supreme Court because prior to serving in my office, she had been judicial staff head of Justice Consuelo Inares Santiago and Justice Mariano C. Del Castillo. Thank you so much, Tess, for taking a leave and putting your expertise to the bar. For criminal law, They're the most, uh, I will not mention the word. <laughs> also a classmate of mine, but definitely an expert in many fields of law, and which is why I engaged her as bar examiner, Justice Selma Palacio Alaraz of the Court of Appeals. She lectures at the Filja, San Beda University College of Law and San Beda College Alabang School of Law and is member of the Executive Committee of the Philippine Mediation Center. She previously served in her favorite subject of criminal law as bar examiner in 2019. Professor Edwin M. Carrillo had been a co-member of mine in the 2011 Committee of Bar Examiners. A distinguished graduate of the UST Faculty of Civil Law, Professor Edwin served as senior partner at the firm of Crianza, Carrillo, and Velasco and was former Vice Chairperson of the Property Crimes Committee of the Criminal Code Committee of the DOJ. In 2011, he served as examiner in legal ethics. Ed, thank you so much. Take your ball. For our last examiner in criminal law, Attorney Rodolfo Maria A. Ponferrada. Oh, third pala, I'm sorry, not the last. Attorney Pong was first placer 
in the 2001 bar exams and was valedictorian of his batch in the UP College of Law. He is now president of Alpha Land Corporation and Atok Big Wedge Cor Company Incorporated and manages his own law firm of Juan Ferrada and San Juan Law Office. Just last year, Attorney Pong served as examiner in the Kagiwao Bar of Justice Ben. Our last examiner in criminal law is definitely a well-known expert in criminal law because she has been teaching this subject for so many years. Also a classmate of mine in Sambeda, Judge Jocelyn Sundiang Diling. She has been awarded twice as Outstanding Professorial Lecturer Awardee and is Executive Judge of the RTC of Palawan and Puerto Princesa City. She serves as member of the Technical Working Group of the Supreme Court Committee on Family Courts. Thank you so much, Judge Joy, for serving the court. Lastly, for remedial law, legal and ju judicial ethics with practical exercises. <laughs> Professor Irene May B. Alcobilia of the San Beda University College of Law, Batch 2014. <laughs> Professor Irene was number one in the 2014 bar examinations and is presently Professor of Criminal Law at the University of Asia and the Pacific at Credit Transactions and Legal Ethics at the Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Maynila. She is currently Legal Officer at the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Thank you very much, Professor Irene. A colleague of mine in the Court of Appeals for many years when I was there, a well-known author in evidence, Court of Appeals Justice Eduardo B. Peralta, Jr. <laughs> of the San Beda University College of Law, Ju Justice Ed holds a Master of Laws degree from San Beda Graduate School of Law and pursued Doctor of Civil Law Studies at the USD Graduate School of Law. He is currently chair of the 10th Division of the Court of Appeals. Our next examiner in remedial law had been an office mate of mine in the office of Justice Lawrence D. Regalado in the 1990s. Justice Hermano Francisco D. De Gaspi. Justice Germs has a JD degree from the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law, and he was secretary of the SC Committee on Revision of the Rules of Court and member of the TWG Group on the Rule of Procedure for Small Claims Cases. Justice Germs is currently senior member of the Second Division of the Court of Appeals. Germs, thank you so much. Lastly, he is not here. He is now enjoying the weather in Germany <laughs> after receiving his honoraria. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Tranquil Gervasio S. Salvador III <laughs> of the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law. Professor Tranquil holds a Master of Laws degree in Global and International Business Law from Suffolk University, Boston, and was former Dean of the PLM and Dean on Sabbatical, by the way, of the Manila Adventist College School of Law and Jurisprudence. 
Dean Tranquil was also bar examiner in this very same subject back in 2018. My dear bar professors, my committee of bar examiners for the 2023 bar exams. We go to the overall top five law schools, which we shall now show per bracket or according to the number of graduates sent by a law school to take the bar. All candidates here include the number of first-time takers, retakers, and refreshers. First, the law school, law schools with more than 100 candidates. Number one, Ateneo de Manila University School of Law. Uh, please sit down, your honors. <laughs> you must know why they stood up. <laughs> okay. uh, how about my colleagues uh, who are Sambeda? Would you like to stand up? Number two, San Beda University. Number three, University of the Philippines College of Law. Number four, University of San Carlos. And number five, University of Santo Tomas Faculty of Civil Law. Law schools with 51 to 100 candidates. Number one, Polytechnic University of the Philippines. May I ask the Dean of PUP to stand up? Dean Jim Festin. University of Cebu. Is our UC Dean here? Number three, Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan. Number four, St. Louis University. Where is your dean? And number five, University of Mindanao. For the third bracket, law schools with 11 to 50 candidates. Number one, UMAC, University of Makati. Number two, Ateneo de Davao University. <laughs> Number three, Angeles University Foundation School of Law. Number four, Notre Dame of Marbelle University. And number five, University of South West or Eastern Philippines. For law schools with one to ten candidates, number one, Bicol University. Tied with St. Mary's College of Tagum. Number two, St. Thomas More School of Law and Business. Number three, Mariano Marcos State University. Number four, Manila Adventist College. And number five, Western Leyte College of Ormoc City.
tied with St. Ferdinand College. Again, we recognize the Primus Inter Pares Passes. As I call your name, please stand up and be recognized. For 20th place, we have Ko Janelle Natalie Ang of the Ateneo de Manila University. For 19th place, Panotes Claudine de Luna of the Arellano University. Please don't sit down. Continue to stand up. For 18th, 18th place, Balisong Raquel Dominic Laureta of the San Beda University College of Law. For 17th place, Guzman Paulo Luna of the University of the Philippines College of Law. For 16th place, Barion Vince Benedict Abu, also of the UP College of Law. 15th place, also from UP Law, Pobar Dionisio III Tenorio. In 14th place of the University of Makati, Rueda Yvette Veronique de Guzman. For 13th place, also of the UP College of Law, Ocampo Marvin Joseph Manaran. In 12th place, Cruz Cedric Jerome Moya of the Bulacan State University. In 11th place, Calderon Maria Sofia Esguera of the San Beda University College of Law. Tied for 10th place are Chan Jason Ong of the St. Paul School of Professional Studies and Non Zestrinya Banyares of the Aquinas UST Legaspi. In 9th place, Bautista Grace Abigail Morales of the Angeles University Foundation School of Law. We have two eight placers. My favorite number. Batulan Paulo of the University of San Jose Recoletos. And Ben Camino Pio Vincent Rura of the University of Santo Tomas. For seventh place, Antonio Brian Gerard Tapnio of the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law. In sixth place, Samaniego Ralph Vincent Salvador of the UP College of Law. For fifth place, Flores David Joseph Austria of De La Salle University, Manila. In fourth is Tang Nathaniel Nino Alipio of Aquinas UST Legaspi. In third place, Francisco Francis Camille Altonaga of the San Beda University College of Law. Garnering second place is Vivit Mark Josel Padua of the Ateneo de Manila University School of Law. And finally, from the UST Faculty of Civil Law, Ye Ephraim Porsuncula. Congratulations, our top 20 
you Hernan did it well. Just as important, thank you, you may be seated. You have to remember where you took your bar examinations. Upon the court's invitation, your venue hosts offered their premises and received all of us unconditionally. At the very least, we can express the best of our gratitude, which we can readily give in the form of applause for our 14 gracious local testing centers. For our national headquarters, thank you so much to San Beda College, Alabang. Dean Ulpiano P. Sarmiento III unconditionally gave all of his love to our core team, Attorney Sara Liliana Tronqued, Attorney Erica Alfonso, and Attorney Marjorie Melgar. San Beda University Mendiola Campus. I have to say thank you to my classmate, Dean Marciano G. Delson of the SBU College of Law. And our core team, Attorney William Villegas, Jeff Kevin Carbonell, Lori Lee Columna, and Jan Francis Nicole Vilches Maliari. UST Faculty of Civil Law also served as LTC. Thank you, Dean Nilo T. Divina. And my core team, Attorney Skina Pasamba, Attorney Eileen Grace Pisanya, and Junil or Junail Antipala. Pasay City was a locality where we had a local testing center. Manila Adventist College of Dean Tranquil Salvador III. Thank you, core team, attorneys Carla Raisa Apolinario, Rasna Mano, and C.J. Baldomar. Of course, to the University of the Philippines in Diliman, which has a new dean, Darlene Marie B. Berberabe, and the former dean, Carlo Vistan, who is now chancellor. Thank you to attorneys Lloyd Javier, Mac Vincent Niera, Clarice Abrogueña, and Judian Lasso Beluso. Again for UP, this time BGC Campus, Dean Edgardo Carlo Elvistan II, and LTC Core Team Attorneys Jacinto Anton Amante, Marcelin Kaday Atitil, and Joyce Jasmine Dimaisip Kunanan. For Baguio, St. Louis University, thank you, Dean Jericho Gaia. And LTC Core Team Attorneys Charmaine Rionico, Joshua Gawis Atitiu, and Harvey Leo Romano. For Cagayan State University, we have to thank Dean Clarence T. Lasam. And attorneys Rose Angeli Palatnao Contilio, Shindi Lofer Casania, and Christine Marie L. Arenas. In Bicol, we engaged the University of Nueva Caceres, represented by Dean Antonio C. Rivero, in whose place we have attorney Lorenz Felix T. Garcia today. And LTC court team members. Attorneys Therese Clear, <coughs> Carbero Cruz, Rev Sandra Acuna, Ernel Matthew S. Aquino. In Cebu, we had the University of San Jose Recoletos. <laughs> Marami salamat po, Dean Jonathan P. Capanas, and the LTC Core Team, 
led by attorneys Maria Gillian Gandingco, Catherine Celine Castro, and Cyrus D.C. Untalan. Thank you, University of San Carlos, Dean Jose Glenn C. Capanas, and local court team members, attorneys Maria Micaela Billones Vitud, Clarice Angeline Festin, and Queenie Arroyo. In Tacloban, we had Dr. V. Orestes Romualdez Educational Foundation, whose dean, and I suppose on leave, is Speaker Ferdinand Martin G. Romualdez. Dean Martin, thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, and our LTC members, Attorneys Lorenzo Tadeus Ruel, Galandines, Christel Shane Sigua, and Jule Ahmad J. Gaspar. In Mindanao, we had two LTCs, Ateneo de Davao University. Thank you so much, Dean Manuel P. Kibod. And your core teams, Attorneys Edeline Crisel Ventura, Deputy Court Administrator Leo Maderazo, Madrazo and Attorney Kyrie Dea Maya, Maya Morente. And lastly, our thanks to Xavier University and to Dean Silvia Jo G. Sabio with local core team members, Attorneys James Mack, Muviel Justin Martinez, and Ferdinand Andres. Just as you have toiled through the bar examinations. The only ones that I can think of who work even harder than all of you are the members of my staff. Bar Team Hernando of BTH. Please rise as you are acknowledged, my staff. From the crafting of the personalized bar bulletins and the creation of the barista platform through the digitalized and regionalized administration of the 2023 bar up to this very moment that you are led to your seat here in the SMX about to be baptized with the title attorney, bar team Hernando has made that all of all of those happen for you. I am very proud to introduce to you the members of the Office of the 2023 Bar Chair. The Executive Director, Overall Head of the 2023 Bar Examination Operations, Attorney Maria Teresa Carmina E. Vivar Lisi. Terry, thank you so much for keeping everyone on leash, including myself. The Vice Executive Director and Director of Finance, our CPA lawyer, Attorney Jose Maria Santos, James. Uh, he is better actually than the BSP governor. Thank you, James. Attorney Pamela Marie T. Marcelo, Vice Executive Director and Director for Communications and Procurement. Thank you, Pam. For the Academics Department, Attorney Katrina Bianca Luis as Diploma, Director of the said department. Director for Special Communications, is Attorney Milka T. Sapio Baheta. <laughs> Director for Operations and Project Management, Attorney Margarita Luis S. Garon. Thank you, Gaitan. <laughs> Director for Safety and Security, Attorney Anjan Wilfred D. Rosario. Attorney Mirabel Sangria Ortiz, Director for Administrative and Logistics Management. 
Attorney Mary Erica Di Manuel, Director Overall Bartek Management and Coordination. Attorney William Villegas, Director also for the Tech Procurement and Exam Software Liaison. Attorney Jacinto Antonio Amante, Director for Barista Development and Maintenance. Attorney Maria Gillian G. Gandinko, Director for Social Media Management and Publicity. Thank you, Jill. Attorney Pauline Angela Di Carillo, Director for Applications and Examinee Liaison, Assistant Academic Director. She is the daughter of our Bar Examiner in Criminal Law, Professor Ed Carillo. And she never knew that her father was Bar Examiner. Thank you, Professor Ed, for keeping that secret topmost. Our Director for the Secretariat of Operations, my PS, the very efficient Miss Kenneth Marie Superiano. <laughs> Associate Academic Director, Attorney Helene Rashida L. Penilia, who is single for everyone's information. <laughs> Attorney Samantha Carissa Di Crisostomo, Associate Academic Director. Thank you so much, Lisa. And Attorney Maria Regine B. Calweng, also Assistant Academic Director. Thank you, Reg. The rest of the members of the 2023 Bar Chair's Office, they are the reason why my adjudication duties had not been impeded at all. My Vice or Deputy Judicial Staff Head, Attorney Clarice Nicole V. De Los Santos. Marami salamat, Kla. From the Bar Chairperson's Office, Attorneys Myra Viti, Vita Yakapin Folio, Myra, Sara Liliana Tronqued, and Kina Pasamba. Also, attorneys Karina May Garcia, Rose Angeli Palatao Contilio, Edeline Crisel Ventura, Carla Raisa Polinario, Charmaine Rionico, Erica Bianca Paras. Attorneys Roxanne Orquico, Alisa P. Diaz, and Roberto Angelias. My non legal staff, Nancy Calabio, Evangeline Reyes Ibanez, and Irish Guevara. Janet Rey Rueras, Ferdinand Barrera, and Romeo S. Soliva, my personal driver. Elvira Irene Palomata, Joel Montefrio, Bernardo Zapanta, Narciso Guevara, Edsel Arce, and Benito P. Soria. I can confidently say that nobody is more excited for the 2023 bar to end than them. <laughs> With all of my heart, I humbly, sincerely, and endlessly thank you, my dear staff, for being with me in this great journey. I will also take this time to thank the officers who graced us with their cooperation and expertise. From the Supreme Court, the Office of the Chief Justice. Chief, thank you so much for everything. The Office of Senior Associate Justice Marvick Leonen. Thank you so much, Saj, for all your guidance and support. 
the office of all the associate justices of the court. Thank you so much, my dear colleagues. You practically approve all of my recommendations from day one. I also have to thank the office of the court administrator, Court Ad Raul, Office of the Clerk of Court and Bank, Attorney Marife. Of course, our main support office in the SC, the Office of the Bar Confident, led by OIC Attorney Amor and Tila. The Management Information System Office of Deputy Clerk of Court, Sherwin Uy. Thank you so much. Sherwin, the biggest of all in terms of support given to us, Office of Administrative Services or OAS. Where is Carrie Kunanan? Thank you so much, my dear sister, Wagi. Also, the SC Procurement Planning Committee, the SC Security Division, the SC Motor Pool Services, the SC Maintenance Services, the Property Division, the SC Printing Services, the SC Fiscal Management and Budget Office, the SC Public Information Office, of course, the SC Bids and Awards Committee for Goods and Services, the Office of the Chief Attorney, the Protocol Committee, the Medical and Dental Services, and the Appellate Courts for their unending support. The Court of Appeals, Court of Tax Appeals, and the Sandigan Bayan. Thank you so much. I would like to also acknowledge the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, IBP. Thank you so much. The Philippine Association of Law Schools, Dean Jim Festin. Of course, the Legal Education Board of Chair Melanie Trinidad and her commissioners, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Philippine National Police, the Bureau of Fire Protection, the Coast Guard of the Philippines, the local government units. You better believe it, we've even engaged the Philippine Atmospheric Geographical Physical and Astronomical Services Administration, or the PAGASA, and the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, the Electric Cooperatives, Meralco, Mainilad, Manila Water Services, our internet service providers, PLDT, Globe, and Eastern Telecoms. You know, administering the bar examinations is like administering a national election. I now end the recognition and the lengthy acknowledgments. I had the pleasure of becoming and being your bar dad. <laughs> Don't you think I'm too young for that? <laughs> I am so humbled to witness your dreams come true today. And now, I am signing off. <laughs> with everything said, we finally proceed with the presentation of the successful bar examinees and the petition for admission to the Philippine Bar. May it please the Honorable Court. I, 
as chairperson of the 2023 bar examinations. Hereby petition the Honorable Supreme Court for the admission of the successful bar examinees into the legal profession. Chief Justice Alexander Giges Mundo and my esteemed colleagues in the Supreme Court, pursuant to sections 17, 18, and 19 of Rule 138 of the Rules of Court and the applicable resolutions of the Supreme Court, I pray that these successful bar examinees whose names are in the list certified by the Office of the Bar Confident and who are now before us be admitted as members of the Philippine Bar with the distinction, responsibilities, and privileges appurtenant thereto. I further pray that thereof as lawyers be accordingly administered and their names be entered into the role of attorneys of the Supreme Court of the Philippines. Your honors and to everyone, thank you and Merry Christmas. objections, the court hereby grants the petition for admission to the bar of the successful 2023 bar examinees. Madam Clerk of Court, please administer the lawyer's oath. Thank you, Your Honor. For the first time in the court's history, the new lawyers will take their oath and sign the role in the same ceremony. May I now request the successful bar examinees to please stand up and raise your right hand as I administer the oath. Please repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I accept the honor, privilege, duty and responsibility of practicing law in the Philippines as an officer of the court in the interest of our people. I declare fealty to the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. In doing so, I shall work towards promoting the rule of law and the regime of truth, justice, freedom, love, equality, and peace. I shall conscientiously and courageously work for justice as well as safeguard the rights and meaningful freedoms of all persons, identities, and communities. I shall ensure greater and equitable access to justice. I shall do no falsehood nor shall, I the law nor shall I pervert the law to unjustly favor, to unjustly favor nor, prejudice nor prejudice anyone. I shall faithfully discharge these duties, these duties and, responsibilities and responsibilities to the best of my ability, best of my ability with integrity and utmost civility. I impose all this upon myself without mental reservation nor purpose of evasion. 
So help me God. Congratulations to the new lawyers. Please be seated. To all successful bar examinees, you may now sign the oath form found in the purple envelope given to you prior to the ceremonies. May I remind those in the audience that you cannot use the cell phones to take photos because it is a judicial proceeding. Thank you. You may keep one copy of your oath form. Please return the other signed copy of the oath form inside the purple envelope and return it to the office of the bar confidant immediately after the ceremonies at the Documents Hall. We shall proceed with the signing of the role of attorneys by the successful 2023 bar examinees shortly. Before we begin, may I request all successful bar examinees to have all three copies of the role of attorneys and their blue or black pen ready. The role of attorneys may be found inside the purple envelope distributed prior to the ceremonies. May I request the successful bar examinees to now sign all three copies of their role of attorneys.
Again, congratulations to the new lawyers. You may keep one copy of your role of attorneys. Please return the other two signed copies of the role of attorneys inside the purple envelope and return it to the office of the bar confidant immediately after the ceremonies at the documents hall. Please rise for the singing of the Philippine Judiciary Hymn to be led by the Supreme Court Choir. As the newest members of the legal profession, the Integrated Bar of the Philippines invites you to download the MyIBP app on your mobile phones and register through the app. Please be informed that the IBP will be holding an online orientation on the MyIBP app registration process for new lawyers every Thursdays at 6 p.m. starting January 11, 2024 until March 28, 2024. To register for the online orientation, please scan the QR code flashed on screen or type the active web link on your web browser. As part of the registration process, the new lawyers will be asked to upload a photo of their certificate of membership. The Office of the 2023 Bar Chair and the Office of the Bar Confidant emphasize that the certificate of membership will be given to each of you post ceremonies. As previously instructed, please ensure that you return your purple envelope to the office of the bar confidant immediately after the ceremonies at the documents hall to get your next set of documents. 
For a step-by-step -step guide on the registration process, the new lawyers are requested to watch the video prepared by the IBP. Before we finally close today's ceremonies, we will be serenaded with a musical interlude by the University of Santo Tomas Singers. Let us all welcome the University of Santo Tomas Singers.
try, we shall see in this bliss we cannot feel fear or dread. We stop existing and start living. He is then always loves and loves for us growing. Make a better world.
Thank you, University of Santo Tomas Singers. Madam Clerk of Court, are there any other matters in the agenda? Your Honor, there are no other matters to be taken up in today's session. There being no other matters, the court hereby adjourns its head bank session today. All rise. Please remain standing and maintain your decorum while the Chief Justice and the Associate Justices leave the session hall. <laughs>